I have the Google Pixel 8 here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the custom ROM Evolution X onto all Google Pixel smartphones. To begin though, you first need to have some things set up ahead of time. A lot of this is already known within the Android community, so in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll be linking to dedicated guides that I've already done so that you can get caught up. For example, you are going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools downloaded to your PC. This is something that I already have a couple of videos showing you how that is done. So those will be linked down below. You're also going to need to have the bootloader of your device unlocked before you're able to flash the custom ROM files. I also have bootloader unlock videos for all of Google's recent Pixel phones. So for all of those requirements, you'll be able to find links to direct guides down in the video description below. But I'll also have those linked in the pinned comment as well, so that they're easy for everyone to find. With that said, You'll then need to download some ROM files, and those need to be saved onto your PC. You'll even want those files saved into the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. To do that, we're going to bring up the Evolution X website, which I'll have linked down below. We're going to click on the Download ROM button, and then find your device in this list. So we're gonna tap on Google and then find our Google Pixel phone that we currently own. So I have the Google Pixel 8 here. I'm gonna click on Get Evolution X. And in this page here, you're gonna find a button labeled Flashing Instructions. We're going to click on that. And depending on which Google Pixel phone that you have, you will need to download a certain set of files. So in this pop-up here, we're told that we need to download the boot, DTBO, vendor kernel boot, vendor boot, and the ROM. And they also give us a link. So we're going to click on that link. You can see DTBO, boot, vendor boot, vendor kernel boot, and then the ROM file itself. So we're gonna download all of these files and save them on our PC. And again, those files need to be saved to the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Here are the files that we downloaded. These all need to be put in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And then we need to open up a command prompt Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window from within that same folder. Now, I do this by holding the shift button on the keyboard and then right clicking on an empty spot of this folder here. You should see an option like open in terminal or open PowerShell window. Even a open command prompt option could appear here and we can select any of those so that we have opened up a command prompt from within that same folder that has all of our files. With all of that set up, we're then going to reboot our Google Pixel smartphone into fast boot mode, AKA bootloader mode. This is done by bringing up the power menu selecting the restart option, and then begin pressing and holding on the volume down button. And we're gonna continue holding the volume down button until we see the fast boot mode screen appear. Once you see this screen here, we can then let go of that volume button and we're gonna connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable. When you get to this step, with our phone in fast boot mode, 
and it's connected to the PC with the USB cable, it's a good idea to run the fastboot space devices command and make sure that we get a response here that shows us our serial number with the term fastboot. That means our PC is able to make a secure connection to the phone, and that means our fastboot commands will work properly. So remember, we're in the folder with those custom ROM files that we downloaded, and those are all in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools. So the first command that we're going to execute is fastboot space flash space boot space boot.img. That's telling the fastboot file to flash the boot.image file to the boot partition. We're going to press enter. You want to make sure that it is sending that file to a partition and it is writing that file to a partition. This could say boot underscore A or boot underscore B, depending on which active partition you're currently at. And you want to make sure that you get an OK message for both sending and writing. The next command that we're going to do is fast boot space flash space dtbo space dtbo.img. And remember, all of these commands are listed in those flashing instructions page on the Evolution X website. And depending on which Google Pixel phone you have, these flashing commands may be different. So be sure that you are executing the commands that your device page on the custom ROM website tells you to. So again, we're going to press enter to execute that command. It sent it, it wrote it, and we got an OK message for both. The next command we're going to do is fastboot space flash space vendor underscore kernel underscore boot and then vendor underscore kernel underscore boot dot img. We press enter on the keyboard. It sent that file and then it wrote that file just as we would want. We're almost done here. The next command we're going to do is fastboot space flash space vendor underscore boot space vendor underscore boot dot img. So again, we're telling the fast boot file to flash the vendor underscore boot image file to the vendor underscore boot partition. Now we press enter. We make sure that it sent and wrote that file correctly. Now we're going to execute the command fast boot space reboot space recovery and this is going to restart our phone from fast boot mode aka bootloader mode into recovery mode so we press enter we get an ok message here and you'll notice that our phone has rebooted you'll notice that this recovery mode screen looks different than the stock recovery that's because we have the custom recovery for Evolution X installed here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the volume up and volume down buttons to control which option is highlighted. We're going to make sure the factory reset option is highlighted. And we're going to press the power button to select that option. We're going to confirm that we want to factory data reset and we're going to format the data. This is going to erase everything on our device. You can see that information there. And it's going to take us back to this menu here. So now we're going to go back to this menu here. And we're going to need to put the phone into side loading mode. So we're going to have the apply update option highlighted. 
and we're going to press the power button to select it. We're going to apply from ADB and that's going to put us into side load mode. We can now send the package that we want via the ADB side load command. So our phone again is in side load mode. We still have it connected to the PC with a USB cable and we're going to go back to our command prompt. We're going to type out the command ADB space side load space and then the file name for that ROM that you downloaded. So that's going to start with the word evolution since that's the evolution X custom ROM. You can begin typing out that file name and then press tab so that it auto completes for us. So the whole command is ADB space side load space and then that file name. And when we tab, it adds the period in that slash, which is fine. We're just going to press enter on the keyboard. And now we're sending this file to our phone. So you can see it is being served that file. We're going to wait patiently. We don't need to interact with the phone right now. We actually want to avoid touching the phone or the USB cable so that it doesn't mess with our secure, stable USB cable connection. Keep an eye out on your phone. You're going to see a verifying update package message at the bottom. So again, we're just going to wait. We're going to wait for our PC to send this file to our device. Again, keeping our eye on our phone, you're likely going to see this get stuck, so to speak, at 47%. And when that happens, your phone's going to switch to installing the update. You're going to see it's at step one of two. Again, there's no need to mess with the phone. We're going to wait. Now that our Google Pixel has that custom ROM file, it's able to install that custom ROM to our device. After a few minutes, you're going to see that switch over to step two of two. And then you will see this recovery mode screen up here. You're going to be asked to install additional packages. You need to reboot into, cover, into recovery first. Do you want to reboot into recovery now? We're going to go ahead and select yes. That's going to reboot our phone from recovery mode and back into recovery mode. Now, the flashing instructions mention rebooting back into recovery mode from here and then sideloading any add-ons if you have them. I first recommend rebooting into the firmware first just to make sure that everything is working. Then if you still need to install add-ons, for example, Magisk to gain root access, then you can still do that via sideload within recovery mode. For now, I'm just going to make sure that the reboot system now option is highlighted and I'm going to press the power button to select that option. You're going to see your Google Pixel reboot. The screen is normal for those who have an unlocked bootloader. You will see that Google screen appear. And then it's going to take you to the Evolution X custom ROM boot animation, as you see here. This first boot cycle will take a little bit longer than normal, because remember we had to do a factory data reset. So the Android file system has to reset everything back up. As long as everything went smoothly, you're going to be taken to the Android activation screen for Evolution X. 
So I'm just gonna skip these steps to take us right to our home screen. And we now have the Evolution X custom ROM installed on my Google Pixel 8. From here, you can begin setting your phone back up again. You can go through the About Phone section, tap on Android 15, and see that we do indeed have Evolution X installed. This ROM has become quite popular lately, and I'll be checking out all of the features throughout the week. I've seen a lot of requests asking me about this ROM, so I'll begin working on a video that highlights the many features offered by Evolution X. If you are familiar with this custom ROM, please be sure to share your favorite features down in the comment section below. And do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.